Hello everyone, welcome to a first look at the Native Personal Bleed Kit. This kit is the smallest in the Native range, designed for single person use. In this video I'm going to show you what's included, the features and how some of it can be used. The Personal Bleed Kit is HSE compliant and designed specifically as an individual first aid pack for arborists and forest workers. It aims to provide treatment for a wide range of trauma injuries in a compact kit while out in the field. In the kit, you get a one metre long hemostatic gauze, one military grade field dressing, one seventh generation tourniquet, one pair of tough cut scissors, a resuscitation aid, and one pair of disposable gloves. There is a lengthy expiry date on all the contents, and the handy contents card enables you to check nothing is missing and replenish the contents where necessary. The first thing out of the pack is a pair of powder free nitrile gloves. These are vital to reduce the spread of germs and bacteria, minimising the risk of infections. The tough cut scissors are medical trauma shears, similar to that used in the paramedical field. They are a compact 6 inch version that have been added to allow you to cut through work clothing and chainsaw protective material. Unfortunately, the scissors I had in the pack, they broke the first time I used them. Although they're compact, they do feel quite cheaply made, and the single rivet holding them together just simply popped off. Having medical shears is brilliant to have and have them included in the kit, but to cut through chainsaw trousers, I feel a better quality pair are going to be needed. The kit can be purchased without the scissors, which is nice to have the option. I want to go into a bit of detail about the hemostatic. It's a fantastic bit of kit. If you haven't seen this before, it can be used all over the body, other than a couple of areas like the skull and stomach, to stop major bleeding fast. Supplied is a 10 by 1 meter roll that can be packed into wounds. Once activated with liquid, it creates a solid gel like mass to temporarily control bleeding. Once the gauze is packed into the wound, it can be left in there to clot the blood. A bandage can then be applied over the top. The bandage is a trauma fixed dressing. Used by the NATO forces, this is a sealed and robust waterproof pouch with a pillow style absorbent pad and an elastic bandage. I like how Native have opted for the medium 10 by 19 centimeter bandage. This is more than adequate and keeps the kit nice and compact. The tourniquet is a staple in trauma first aid equipment and with the correct training, saves lives and limbs if ever needed. The native kit comes with the latest version with the updated rigid handles. In addition to the kit, it's advised to seek professional training. Although I train myself to use this equipment, I'm not an instructor and this video is just an insight into how some of the products work. Having a rehearsed rescue plan, emergency procedures and trained staff will mean that the equipment can be used to its full potential. The resuscitation aid is something I wouldn't have included myself. When you look at the size of it though, it, it makes perfect sense. It limits the risk of cross contamination when performing CPR. It creates a physical shield between the first aider and the casualty. Having a well thought out contents is fantastic. However, if the pack itself isn't fit for purpose, the medical supplies will become perished. The bleed kit bag is a small waterproof roll top bag with a rear belt loop. Access inside is quick thanks to the elastic clip on sides. I'll need to see how the belt attachment and bag holds up long term, but after a few months it appears compact, robust and the blue colour can easily be seen. The pack is also available in black and yellow also. The team at Native showed me a pack at the APF show that had been worn daily on a climbing harness for two years and it's still looked in good condition. I hope none of us ever have to use the contents for real. But if you don't yet have a trauma kit, I hope that this can fulfil your needs. I want to thank the guys at Native for supporting the channel and giving me this product. I had loads of fun making this video and testing the items and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have 5 minutes, please take a further look on the Native website. The link's in the description, there's a lot more info on there and you can dive deeper into the products. Thanks for watching, stay safe everyone and I'll see you in the next one.